Hello, I'm Paul Anderson, also known as Dr. T. Lud, and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about a stove option for Timor-Leste. This is the top-lit updraft, also known as T. Lud, microgasification of dry biomass, such as corn cobs, wood chips, small twigs, reeds, and many other different types of things, including briquettes and pellets. And I have in front of me here two variations of it. One of the units, which is most described in the, in the literature, is this one here, which is called the Champion Stove. It has a tripod. The t -Lud part down in here operates, and it will slide in underneath here and give the flame up underneath the pot coming in through this zone into here. A very recent addition to the variety of designs for t -Lud cook stoves is called the T-Char unit. This is the T-Char basic. The T stands for top, a t -Lud or top lid updraft, and the char stands for a charcoal stove, which is actually the base. Charcoal stoves are very inexpensive, can have ceramic liners or metal liners, and uh, are um, quite useful for charcoal cooking. I know that charcoal cooking is not common in Timor-Leste. However, when you are not using charcoal as the fuel, but you are using dry biomass, such as uh, corn cobs and uh, twigs and briquettes, then you are creating the charcoal inside of the t -Lud application, and when you lift it up, the charcoal falls out through the bottom because there's no bottom on it. That charcoal remains here inside the charcoal burner, and you're able to put up the, the, the pot supports and to put the pot back down on top of it to continue for continued cooking. So these two designs are both tea lugs. This is one of the very first of the tea char stoves. It was built in uh, Uganda in July of 2011. And I'm going to now fill this stove with fuels. And I'm using wood chips of standard type. Just regular putting it down in. Having placed the fuel inside the top, making this a fully functional top-lit updraft stove, the primary air enters the bottom, comes up through the grate of the charcoal stove, upward through the fuel, and it will burn then the starter material which I'm placing at the top. This is some of the same type of wood chips, but I have placed a little bit of lighter fluid on it for charcoal, charcoal fire lighters. It could be other things. There's ways you can light it also with paper. A match. Lighting this, the starter material all around the top. Notice that there's been no smoke. This particular unit uses a concentrator disc, which is pushed, uh, set into position here to help bring the gases into the center and to, uh, to uh, stimulate the uh, mixing of the secondary air with the, primary, with the gases that are coming up for burning. Pyrolysis will progress downward through that, char that bed of wood chips and giving gases that are going to come up and be burning at the top. Once the pyrolysis reaches the bottom, at that time this yellow flame will disappear. We will be watching for that. And then we will have the, uh, the, just the charcoal that's in there, at which time we can remove the top section. All of the charcoal falls down in, and we can f continue cooking with it as a charcoal stove. One of the advantages of the T-Char stove compared with a traditional charcoal stove is that we're getting a high heat fast and early in the time of cooking. 
Charcoal stoves are notoriously slow in getting started. They're fanning them, trying to get the charcoal to get hot. Whereas here we have a very quick flame and we're able to do the high heat applications that are commonly associated with the first part of most cooking tasks. Later on, when we have transitioned to the charcoal stage, we will then use the charcoal, which is already hot, no need to restart it. The, that charcoal will serve more for the simmering or the low heat stages uh, that are common with cooking. This is a smoke burning stove. It creates gases, which you could call smoke, down in its insides in the reactor and then those gases are combusted up near the top. We have just seen the clear transition from the yellow flame of the burning of the pyrolysis gases to the commencement of the burning of the charcoal. I can now take off the top. You're seeing the charcoal is down inside there. This is too far down for it to be an effective charcoal cooker with the pot still up here. So the concept and the idea is that we will remove this T-top and you can see now the charcoal coming available underneath in there. Okay. This particular unit is missing its three little pot support rests, but the pot would then just be sitting right over the top of that, and believe me, it is quite hot. This is a ceramic uh, charcoal burning stove that came from Haiti. I have added to it a little bit of wire mesh, which is to keep the charcoal pieces from falling through the, the holes here. Here we have three quite typical charcoal burning stoves purchased at marketplaces in different countries. Another construction variation of charcoal stoves is to have rebar, metal rods, thick rods, placed across through the, as to form the grate inside of it and some of them have no attempt to control the air, some of them do. We're cutting back on the amount of air that would be able to come through it. These are how the pots then would come on and be, be supported. This is an EnviroFit Model 2200 and it has a, a finer mesh put onto it to keep smaller char from falling through. In Uganda in June of 2011, this T-top was created to fit over an EnviroFit model 2200 and to then function at, with its own the EnviroFit unit as a T-char. This same T-base from Haiti can be used with a larger T-top. For the pot support, you can use any of a different of a number of varieties. This is off of a kitchen stove. This one here comes from EnviroFit, and there are ones that can be welded together with using rebar. The stability of this stove is quite solid. We are considering, we're looking at having a clamp, two or three clamps that will come down on it so that the entire unit would be held together. However, it is not intended to pick up the entire unit by this handle, considering that the base is heavy of ceramic. All of the T-LUD technology is in the public domain and totally available for you to utilize in Timor-Leste. I would be happy to work with you, with the various people there, uh, to set up the entities and the structures for having this clean cook stove technology available uh, to the people and also to create employment for them with regard to 
fuel preparations and things so that you can become a more energy independent country without the importing of fossil fuels etc thank you very much and i look forward to being in contact with you